Hi, my name is Mark Howell. I'm going to be your instructor uh, this term for your project management class. Being an online class, uh, I've always looked for different ways. Let me see if I can slide this so if I need to see the text, I can. That I try to find ways to not make online classes uh, standard, run of the mill, read the book, take the test. Uh, so I'm going to be posting videos. Uh, today, being the first day of class, uh, I'm going to go over the syllabus and a little bit of the tools and stuff we're going to use. And then each week, I'll probably post two videos. One to give you a uh, kind of a week at a glance, what assignments are due, what type of activities you're going to be doing in the week. And then um, a video of the lecture. Uh, so if you're inclined to need to hear somebody talk about the material, you can versus just trying to read it. Uh, so we'll go through this. Now, the other thing I like to do is knowing that it's an online class, most of you are probably working and to be able to stop by whenever my office hours are makes it probably downright impossible. But what I've done is there is a tool called Remind, R I M I N D that we'll be using that you'll be able to register for and text. We can text back and forth. Either I can text the whole class, I can text you individually. Uh, so that way you don't feel like you're isolated so that on Sunday afternoon when you're trying to do your homework and you don't understand something, run into a problem, you can at least get a hold of me. Uh, otherwise you're going to send an email or leave a voicemail and who knows how long it'll take you back. Uh, so you'll, you'll see a little bit of that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go through the syllabus just so you can see what kind of the textbook uh, we're going to be using and uh, what kind of grading and all the stuff you're really important about that you really are desired to know more about. What am I going to do? How much am I going to cost? How much work am I going to do? And we'll go from there. So let's take a look at the syllabus and then we'll come back to reminding a few other things here. So let me slide this over here. Maybe I'll slide myself. So, so, so for those of you, let me just get the auto hide that. Get it back up there. So, uh, like I said, my name is Mark Howell. My email address is mhowell at ccc ti.edu. Um, I got office hours pretty much every day of the week, but Monday and Wednesdays, it's really early in the day. I'm here from 7 till 9.15. I got a 9.25 class, so just between 7 o'clock and the start of my first class. Uh, and then after that class is over about 11, I've got uh, maybe 15, 20 minutes before I have to cut out for uh, another standing uh, appointment. Uh, but Tuesday, Thursdays, and Fridays, I'm here from like 8 o'clock to like 2.30 uh, or so with only with a snapshot in the middle at 9.25 to 11 uh, class that I'm teaching. So it may not give you all the time to get a hold of me. That's where I think Remind will help. But I, I will answer emails. I will you know, answer voicemails and stuff like that. But I just found that over time students... Um, when they have time to do the work, it's not uh, conducive to communicate with me. Uh, so now the textbook that we're going to be using is Information Technology Project Management, uh, ninth edition, uh, written by Kathy Schwalbe uh, by Cengage Unlimited. I am also going to try to maybe use MindTap uh, to try to use some of the other facilities that are embedded in that. Haven't done that uh, in the past with this textbook. Uh, so as the semester goes, uh, we may be registering for MindTap so that you can get uh, more material other than just the online textbook. Uh, now, of course, you know, what do I expect you to get out of here is basically this class is set up uh, on how to become a project manager. So it's kind of, saying, I'm going to, it's, you're, most of you have been in IT development, learning programs, programming programs, and in the real world, more likely you would be reporting to or reporting your status on a project back to a project manager. 
But I think having you understand what they're going through and the steps they're going to will help you be a better programmer, at least when you get in that first job and also somebody's asking you for status, you understand a little bit where they're coming from and why they're doing it. Um, the intent is not to make you a project manager, even though there's plenty of information here and you probably could if you really were interested. It is a great career. I spent 25 years doing it. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, so, but we're going to talk about the, the 10 different knowledge areas that are used to hand, handle all the facilities that a project manager has to deal with, ranging from what project management is, what the scope of a project is, how do I manage a project's time and cost and quality, uh, how do I deal with the people and the resources, uh, how do we communicate uh, so that both the project manager to the people they're managing plus the people that are spending money and spending uh, and their bosses uh, understand how do I manage the risk of a project when things happen when do I raise the red flag when do I say hey we've had enough of those close this project down um, and then it goes back to also how do I get resources how do I procure uh, information and uh, how do I manage people that are interested in the project, the stakeholders. So those are, we're going to go through um, a lot of information. Like I said, a lot of this stuff will, you'll never use again, but you'll at least have an appreciation for what the project manager is doing, and hopefully this will help you in your technology career. Now, attendance, being an online class, you've got to do something every single week. Um, and I'm going to structure the tax that each week there's going to be activities set up either assignments, uh, tests, maybe a combination of assignments and tests, and what I call a reflection journal. A reflection journal is just a way of, uh, tell me how the class is going. Some students have used it to say, these are the problem areas I've got. Some students have had, I don't have any problems. And I've had students give me song lyrics, uh, food recipes, uh, um, you name it. It's free, it's a hundred words, free form, whatever you want to say, but it's also your opportunity that you, if, sometimes you don't want to tell me what's going on, but you'll be able to write it. So that's probably what uh, you can use that for. But <laughs> you can miss only 20% of the class, so this being online, yeah, you probably miss, uh, what, two, three weeks, and I would have the option of dropping you, um, but if you want to drop by, I think, October 23rd or so, it's the last day to drop the class. Preferably, you don't want to drop the class because it's so much fun and you're learning a lot. Um, so just keep that in mind. You will be getting stuff to do. And I will use that uh, reflection journal as uh, at least as the bare minimum that you're at least still in the class and still trying to do something. Now, how is your grades going to be determined? Well, 45% of this your grade if you can based on the chapter exams. There'll be a midterm, it'll be a final, and those are only about 20% a piece. So between exams, you've got 85% of your uh, grade is based on some sort of gram, either chapter, midterm, and final. Now the one good thing I do, I think, is that the midterms and finals are made up of questions from the chapter exams. Nothing new, so you're more than likely to see the question. So if you if you study for the chapters, more than likely you'll do fine in the midterm and the final because you're going to you have seen those questions before. So if you get a 95 on chapter three exam, more than likely the material in chapter three will be on that exam, and you've already got that information. Um, now, 10% of your grade is going to be based on chapter assignments. Um, ranging from writing papers, critiquing uh, successful or failed projects, um, things of that nature. 3% of your grades can be on these reflection journals, free form, 100 words, free 3% of your grade. This last one is that, remember I told you that remind tool that allows you to communicate via text between me and, your, and you guys? You get 2% just to register. You don't even have to send me a text. All you do is register. And we'll go into that in a little bit. Uh, so the standard grading curve, 60 to, you know, our standard, you know, 10 point, 
190 is an A, 89 to 90, 80 is a B, so on and so forth. Uh, all you're going to be sitting at the, you know, 90 to 100. So it, the rest of the grades don't really make any difference. Um, the types of things, we will cover every single chapter in the textbook. Uh, pretty much one a week. Uh, this week being only a couple of days, um, it's basically you're going to do a basic introduction um, and then a reflection journal. That's all you're going to do for this week. Um, then next week we'll start with chapter one and as you can tell uh, chapters one to seven then week nine we'll have a midterm uh, and then the rest of the chapters. There's a free week in there somewhere about week 16 uh, just before the final just in case uh, something happens, we'll we'll find something to fill that gap. But you pretty much how you can get something for every single chapter. Um, now you all know that if you there are certain resources available to you, whether it's uh, disability services or financial services, uh, I've put some links in here that uh, can help. So let's take a look at. Minimize this thing here. So we did the quiz. Now <laughs> that syllabus. Now now that you cover the syllabus, take the syllabus quiz because without the syllabus quiz, you won't get to week one's material. Uh, so feel free to do it. Otherwise, you're going to think. Now, like I said, the communication tool I'm going to use, other than these videos, is the Remind app. So. You've got two things. If you, if you click this Remind Setup button, you get two things. One, there'll be a link to join the class or a PDF on how to register for that class. Either one, your way is just one or the other. Uh, I think most students find it easy enough just to click on the Remind uh, link and register for the class. So that should be more than sufficient. Uh, so. So register for their mind, 2% of your grade, final grade, not just 2% for the first week, it's 2% of your final grade. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. Uh, I got some information on Cengage here, but I'm going to wait to see. Um, I want to make sure the best way to get you registered. Uh, I, I know you can go in and uh, go to Cengage Unlimited, you know, either register for it or log into it. If, you know, if you're a new user, it'll, it'll talk you through how to register for it based on uh, the cards you get when you bought your textbook. Um, but then I may use Cengage MindTap facility to, um, there's other f behind the scenes features that aren't in the textbook. So we may play some games that uh, I haven't had a chance to play with. So we'll see how it goes. Now, once you do your syllabus quiz, you're going to get into week one. Now, like I said, there's two things I usually do each week is one, I post a week at a glance video. Basically, this video is going to encompass both of those. Uh, pretty much tell you the activities that are coming up this week. Uh, I'll have a section on resources. Um, here's that mind tap if we go ahead and use it. But I'll post links, papers, uh, articles, PowerPoint slides, whatever the case may be. All that stuff will be under the resource section. Um, now, when, and then there'll be assignments a section on assignments, and then if there's any exams for that week, which after this week there'll probably be a section in, in exams. Uh, so you'll see that. Now, first assignment is says create an infographic. Basically, it's a pictorial image of something about yourself. Um, if you um, I don't care if it's PowerPoint. I don't care if it's a video. Uh, I've posted a link to a, a Canva infographic link, and it basically allows you to create an infographic. Uh, it's it's a free size. You got to register for it, but it's free. It doesn't cost you anything, other than them sending you emails every so often about new products and stuff they've got. But you can use that if you want, or you can use PowerPoint. You can use a video. Anything you want to do. Uh, so, but that's your first and only assignment this week. I shouldn't say only because 
Like I said, the reflection journal. Reflection journals, it's your opportunity to tell me what's going on. How you doing? How you like the class? Areas you're having trouble with? Your favorite song. I don't care. But it will be counted as attendance. It's 3% of your grade just to fill those out every week. So between um, getting remind registration and doing 17 reflection journals, that's 5% of a grade. So you're already well on your way to getting an A in the class. Uh, so hopefully this gives you a rough idea of a little bit. Uh, I'll let you go ahead and when you click on this link for the infographic, I posted my infographic in there so you can get a rough idea uh, who I am, at least some key points in my life, and uh, hopefully it helps. So, hope this helps. Hope this gets you a little situated. If you have any questions, register for a remind. Give me a text. Give me a call. Send me an email. Looking forward to talking to you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.